Hey everyone, it is Monday, May 9th. The time right now is 4.20 p.m. and the temperature is an extremely nice 20 degrees Celsius. And this would be by far the nicest day we've had this year. I'm here at the intersection of Birchmount Road and Ellesmere Road. That's a look to the west along Ellesmere. And welcome to a part of town I've dubbed Strodeland. And this walk will take us along a trio of Strodes. First I'll head east along Ellesmere here. And then when I get to Kennedy Road, I'll head south down to Lawrence. And then I'll probably finish off by walking along Lawrence for a few blocks. And this is an area of Toronto known as Scarborough. And I don't think I've ever actually recorded along Ellesmere Road here. And I haven't yet recorded along this part of Kennedy either. That I'll be turning right on to. And this neighborhood is known as Dorset Park. And it runs between Birchmount Road, which is just to the west here, and I think Midland Avenue, which is off to the east, although I won't be getting that far. And it's bound to the north by Highway 401. And I think it goes just south of Lawrence Avenue. So this one should take us through the heart of the commercial area of Dorset Road. Or rather, Dorset Park. There's a Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses at 701 Ellesmere Road. And like most of Scarborough, this is a very diverse neighborhood. I think I read that roughly 58% of the population are not native English speakers. And that's about 11% higher than the rest of the city. And the population here is around 25,000. And about 39% of the households here rent. And another 39% commute to work via public transit. And it just so happens the median age of the residents here is 39. And there is Ellesmere Public School. I think they're waiting for the 95 bus. That's what I took to get here. I started at York Mill Station and I hopped on the bus. It was a relatively quick and easy ride over to Birchmount and Ellesmere. So there's not a whole lot to see along Ellesmere here. But this is quite typical of streets like this, particularly in Scarborough and other outer suburbs. We have three lanes of rather fast moving traffic. And there's homes <laughs> whose driveways actually lead right on to Ellesmere. So I think the next major intersection should be Kennedy. And that'll take us along a number of commercial plazas.
And if you're from or very familiar with this area and know of any hidden gems that I missed on this walk, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Scarborough is really an underrated gem when it comes to food. And other things, but those that live here swear by their food choices. Ellesmere Road here is really a continuation of York Mills Road and it runs east to I think just short of the Rouge River so that would be the eastern boundary of the city of Toronto and it's served by the 95 bus and I think the 995 express bus There's a large Highland Farm supermarket across the street. So I alluded to Ellesmere and Kennedy and Lawrence as being Strodes. You might be wondering just what that is. I did a previous video along Shepherd Avenue West, which was also kind of Strode themed. Well, the term Strode was coined by Charles Marone, and he's the founder of Strong Towns. And you could say it's defined as a cross between a street and a road, and it's one that doesn't particularly serve either function very well. That's a very interesting looking house. So you could say it's defined as Park Street, which is a complex environment where life in the city happens with pedestrians, cars, and buildings close to the sidewalk. And Park Road, and roads are really designed to be higher speed connections between two places with wider lanes and limited entrances and exits. strodes are said to be slow and inefficient and they create unsafe environments for cyclists and are rather undesirable for pedestrians and cyclists and they even create rather dangerous environments or at the very least they're car centric and pedestrian and cyclist hostile and that's one thing that's really disappointing about this area if you go to google maps and you click on the cycling network tab in the bottom left where you can toggle the terrain. You'll see there's absolutely no cycling networks in this area. And it's not like these streets don't have the room. We've got three lanes on either side. And there's a sidewalk. They wouldn't even have to sacrifice any lanes of traffic to build protected bike lanes. Also serve the purpose of helping protect pedestrians as well. And here is Kennedy Road just up ahead. So those high rises you see off in the distance, I think they're right around Highway 401. And there's a plaza there called the Candy Commons where there used to be an AMC movie theater. And I think this plaza here has a number of notable restaurants in the area. And there's even a place called Johnny Shwarma. 
and another one called Mishka's, which I think is a famous Caribbean restaurant. I'll be heading south on Kennedy here. And just off in that direction is the Candy Station RT, or the Ellesmere RT subway station. It's not really a subway station, it's an RT station. I'm <laughs> tripping all over my words here. But that was opened in 1985, and it's part of the Scarborough RT network, otherwise known as Line 3, and that is set to be decommissioned next year. And it's to be replaced by a three-stop subway extension. Although Ellesmere Station itself won't be replaced. So this is Kennedy Road. There's a the Wendy's. I'm heading south down the west side. So you can see how rather car-centric this area is. In fact, most of Scarborough is. And I got some heat in a prior video for pointing that out, where I walked down around Kennedy Station. I think that one I walked from Wilson Station up to Candy Station. to know more about Strode's, there's some excellent videos on YouTube about it, or about that topic. There's one by Not Just Bikes. There's another one from City Nerd. And there's a few videos from Strong Towns. So I'll try to remember to link to those in the description. There's a 2001 audio video. There's even a factory direct here. There used to be one on Bloor Street in Koreatown. I think that's where a lot of your electronics returns end up being resold. There's definitely not a lot of pedestrian activity here. Scarborough is a former borough in the northeast of the city of Toronto. It was amalgamated back in the late 90s as part of the mega city. I think the population here is around 632,000 people. And one of the things some people here didn't like about my last video was in the thumbnail I titled it Scarberia. And it got that nickname because of the sort of vast, wide open spaces and how spread out it is. There's the Kennedy Lodge Long Term Care. It's a long term care facility. Barbecue and Fireplace Depot. There's an interesting looking plaza. Maybe we'll go take a closer look at that one.
is a cryptocurrency exchange. It's called Asia Spa. An auto, auto part shop. Go smash, whatever that is. Anto's restaurant. I think that's a rather highly regarded Mediterranean restaurant. I have no idea how that shop is still around. I think that's a fairly famous Indian restaurant as well. This area kind of looks and feels like pretty much anywhere else in the suburbs. Reminds me a bit of Dundas and the city of Mississauga. There's a lot of furniture stores. Traffic seems to be moving pretty good along Kennedy. One of the knocks on strodes like this is that they're said to be rather slow and inefficient. And we haven't seen a single cyclist on this journey. Well, there's a bike at the front of that 43 Kennedy bus. Excuse me, sir. I believe your vehicle is falling apart. Oh, there's a can of computers here on the right. Street is an aquarium super center. I think that's part of a chain that used to be called Big Al's, if I'm not mistaken. It's got the same color scheme, and there's even a shark on top of the building. And Big Al's is known for having shark tanks in their stores. I remember going to the one in Mississauga, and they also had a location in downtown Oakville that I frequented back when I had fish and I was growing up. to come back to this area and do a live stream. I always enjoy reading the comments when I'm going through uncharted territory.
Agent Court Chrysler used cars. I believe Agent Court is a neighborhood that's more to the northeast of here. And it's certainly not an area that's conducive to walking. And one thing you'll notice is a distinct lack of mid and high rises. Beyond these major arterials are mostly single family detached dwellings. Although there's a coin laundry. My guess is that would probably serve people who rent basement apartments and rooms and houses and that sort of thing. There's an old house turned into an auto sales office. here on the bus. I was reading a survey published by the University of Toronto in 2019 that cited that the cycling and pedestrian infrastructure in Scarborough is on the whole inadequate and unsafe. In fact, I think a few days ago there was a rally attended by over 100 people to address that very issue. Just strip mall after strip mall after strip mall. I certainly don't mean to knock those who call this area home. But it's safe to say this isn't for me. There's the Chesterfield shop. They've got a new location downtown on King Street East. They've got a smaller one that's more condo sized up in Midtown. And I think on Dufferin, just south of Steeles, is their main warehouse location. There's a large South Indian restaurant. Apparently, Michelin is coming to the city. One of the knocks against Toronto cuisine is that we don't have any Michelin star rated restaurants. Well, the reason for that was none of them were eligible. As Michelin didn't cover this area, but now that they're coming to Toronto, I would not be surprised to see a number of places in Scarborough get recognized. Markham as well, a suburb to the north of Toronto, is also known for its various ethnic cuisine.
mattresses and more. What would the more be? Bed frames, box springs. Pull out sofas. More furniture shops over there. There's the brick outlet store. I think their store on Dufferin, just north of Bloor, is also an outlet store, if I'm not mistaken. Brick just has a number of couches chilling outside. So I don't think we're too far from Lawrence Avenue here. I did a walk last year that went through, I think, the Wexford neighborhood. I left my gloves on the bus. <laughs> I remember going to a Dollarama to buy some new gloves, which I think is just south of here, actually. There's a psychic right next to Kathy's Grill. That looks like it used to be a Starbucks. I guess that explains why the sign looks like that. I think we have still yet to see another cyclist. Or any cyclist. And I'd be willing to bet the farm that that Good Life Fitness used to be a future shop. I think it was back in 2015 when they shuttered all of their Canadian locations. Some of them became Best Buys. As both of those chains were owned by the same parent company. There's a Lastman's Bad Boy, owned and operated by the Lastman family. Now Lastman being the first ever mayor of the mega city of Toronto. Sadly, he has recently passed away. And that's a furniture shop. <laughs> and there's the Dollarama that I went to.
there's Laguna Bay. I think that's a Filipino restaurant. And this would be Lawrence Avenue. Look at those gas prices, one ninety four nine. And it should still be part of Dorset Park. So for getting home, I could turn a left here and walk over to the RT station. I could just hop on a bus and head south down to Candy Station and hop on line two and take that all the way over to Blue Riel and then head north up to Eglinton. Okay, hear me out. There's some cyclists, but not surprising. They were on the sidewalk. And here is Lawrence Avenue, and there's a look to the east. So I want to hop on a bus, and I think this bus will go right to Eglinton Station. That's the 54 bus. And, oh look, another Strode. Characterized by its three lanes on either side. And you can see how if a car turns into this plaza going at a good speed, how it can be unsafe for pedestrians. Hey, there's a guy on his bike. Riding where he's supposed to be, he's doing absolutely everything right. But would you want to be out there on your bike? Well, almost everything right. I'd say you should probably put a helmet on. There's a church's chicken in a Lone Thai supermarket. And that is Winston Churchill Collegiate Institute. I'll probably come back and do an updated video through Wexford, which is to the west of here. I won't get that far on this one. There's some mid-rise apartments. And to the south of here, along Eglinton, is an area called the Golden Mile. And you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the tip of the big communication tower.
Where is that? The St. Lawrence Catholic School. I don't seem to see a whole lot of buses going by here. The frequency certainly seems to be not as good as what was on Ellesmere Road and Caddy Road. I will be looking to hop on a bus and head back home. So according to this, the next bus is in 45 seconds and then three minutes and 30 after that and then 10 minutes after that. Across the street is the McGregor Park Community Center. And there's a new, new-ish Toronto Public Library there. And that is St. Lawrence the Martyr. Here's a bus stop, but I might as well head all the way over to Birchmount Road. Well, it seems the Rocketman app is lying about that bus. I'm pretty sure that was more than 45 seconds. Go, the 54 bus to Eglinton Station. Not a good sign, there were people standing. I think it'll take a good 30 minutes or so to get there from here. I think it'll turn south at Don Mills Road and take that down to Eglinton. Lawrence Avenue itself gets interrupted by the Bridal Path neighborhood. Well, there's some empty seats at the back. I guess I could hustle and go catch it, but I'll take the bus that's following it, which is apparently arriving in two minutes. And this bus has stopped, so I could probably run and catch it. There's a place called <laughs> Spices Ripe. Register at ownthebrough.com. It looks like a big condo development going in there. Luxury condos from the 200s. I highly doubt that's the case. But do I awkwardly force my way onto this bus?
So west of here is an area known as Wexford Heights. I don't want to be that guy. The light's about to change. And this is Birchmount Road. There's an interesting sign, vote for the Libertarian Party. We have a provincial election coming up. And why do I get the feeling that this is a stalled and or failed development? The price starting from the 200s seems awfully unrealistic. There's a York Region Transit bus going for a ride. Anyways, my chariot should be on the way soon, so I think I'll sign off. I hope you enjoyed this one. Walking through the Dorset Park neighborhood in Scarborough, heading east along Ellesmere, starting here at Birchmount Road, then southbound Kennedy, and then west along Lawrence Avenue, back to Birchmount. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you have anything to add, let me know as well. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to Patreon and my YouTube channel membership in the description. And there's also a new super thanks button. And there's a link to PayPal as well. And don't forget to hit the like button if you actually liked it. All right, I'm gonna take down the camera and audio gear now and wait for the bus. So thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.